I'm Charity. Hello, I'm Shannon. And we work at Schuler Books, uh, both of us in the office. I am the executive assistant, and Shannon does the web, as well as works with marketing. And today, we're going to be working with The Full Plate by Aisha Curry. And we picked this book because I'm gonna read you the full subtitle because it's very important. Flavor-filled, easy recipes for families with no time and a lot to do. This is in big letters. So we have three children, so this was a huge find for us. And we're doing uh, steak sandwiches, which looked really tasty. These pictures are so yummy, <laughs> make me hungry. Uh, but it looked pretty easy. It's not that different than what we might normally do. If we have sandwiches, it's like slap some ham and cheese with some mustard on bread. Uh, but this looked a little more curated and pretty yummy. And there's nothing really wild about what's in this recipe. We've got a little bit of fancy mustard, a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of mixed greens. It calls for arugula, which uh, came in mixed with spinach when, uh, when I bought it. We've got some ciabatta bread, a little bit of blue cheese, and some onions that we're going to pickle with some uh, apple cider vinegar and no cooking for that either. So it's a very straightforward recipe. Yeah, and the pickled onions, you have to do those, but they take an hour. So you do those first and then you finish up with the rest of it and they're done, which is fantastic. Um, and this is something she does, which I really love. Um, so she makes a note up here about what she likes about this recipe. Um, none of these ingredients are hard to find. It wouldn't have deterred us anyway. Um, but she also says, and you can use some of these as garnish for other things or in this other recipe because I hate when I have to buy something, even if it's not like very strange. And I get this full little pouch and then I use like half a teaspoon. And then this jar of shrimp paste or whatever it was sits in my pantry and gets gross over the next year. Uh, so that was wonderful. And I just have to say thank you, thank you as a mom and dad and person who has to make the meals every day. Um, so, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's cook the book. Um, we don't cook with a lot of oil usually, uh, so following the recipe just produce a little bit more smoke than we're used to. <laughs> usually we don't um, pan fry steak on the oven. Usually I use a cast iron skillet and uh, broil it in the, in the oven rather than the stove top or grill outside and it's not so smoky <laughs> yeah, when we do that. It smells really good though. I think you'd be good. Thanks. I took a nibble and it tastes good. Mm -hmm. But otherwise pretty easy. Oh yeah, very straightforward. Okay. It's uh it's just a little bit of oil on the pan, uh, medium heat, and uh, a couple of minutes per side, depending on how thick the steak is. We went uh, four minutes per side for the first half of the steak, and maybe it's not quite as done as we like. Maybe it is. It's pretty close. It looks good and then the other half we're letting rest right now, and we'll cut that up into slices in just a couple more minutes, and in the meantime we'll prep the onion uh, and the also get the uh, mayonnaise and mustard mixed up together, so the sandwiches when they come together will have everything come together at the same moment, just like, like. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. So good. <laughs> um, it's really good. The the recipe came together really, really as easily as it looked like it was going to. Uh, all the pieces assembled very smoothly. The steak cut up into nice bite-sized pieces. Uh, it was a little smoky, as we saw. 
<laughs> not your fault. <laughs> just you gotta get better at that part. Um, and then the way the flavors all come together is really, really pleasant. Yeah, um, the kibata bread, ciabatta, uh, when you mix it with some of the juice from the steak, um, it just blends everything together and the pickled onions have just enough of a tang. And then the blue cheese adds some zing. Um, it's so good. I, yeah, this is gonna be, I think, one of our favorites. Thank you, Ayesha Curry, we love it. <laughs> That's very good. So yeah, I think I think overall it was, it was great. It, that was a very good experiment. Um, thank you, and like and subscribe if you'd like to see more <laughs> Cook the Book. <laughs>